Hello to everyone, my name is Stefan Konchar and I will present the paper with the topic Development of Automotive Video Logger Hardware in the Loop Device for ADAS and Autonomous Driving Algorithms Development and Testing. Automotive industry is rapidly rising the last couple of years and fully autonomous driving is final goal for, for many car manufacturers. As you can see, Advanced driver assistance systems, or known as ADAS, are becoming increasingly available in many vehicles in order to improve safety and comfort. Uh, before starting mass production, all these vision-based systems must be properly tested, which means a lot of tests with real-life scenarios must be conducted. Different driving scenarios with different conditions must be taken into account. All these tests are time consuming and therefore money consuming in order to be performed in real traffic. The most of these tests can be replaced with appropriate hill simulation. In this paper, we will present one complete solution for automotive video logger device. Uh, this kind of device can significantly simplify and reduce time for al algorithms development which are necessary for autonomous driving. So why is all this important? According to the data released by the World Health Organization, more than 1.3 million people die each year as a result of the road traffic crashes and between 20 and 50 million, million more people suffer non-fatal injuries. Most of these accidents are caused by human errors. So primary role of the ADAS technologies is to reduce these human related errors and to increase safety. There is not too much academic work related to this topic, but there are a lot of papers related to some specific problems and challenges that must be solved by this kind of devices. Uh, in order to improve ADAS capabilities and to make possible transition to autonomous vehicles, new high resolution 2 megapixel cameras with 60 frames per second must be used. Higher camera resolution must be used in order to meet two important requirements, increased field of view and higher angular resolution. Uh, for example, there is one interesting research related to importance of high image resolution in automotive algorithms. If one megapixel camera is used, and most of vehicles that are equipped with cameras today have one megapixel cameras, pedestrian can be detected at 34 meters. For system based on 8 megapixel camera, same pedestrian can be detected at more than 100 meters. Considering still there are no vehicles with 8 megapixel cameras, the importance of 2 megapixel camera is questionable here. In addition to higher resolution, cameras used at high speeds, highways typically require higher video frame rate. For example, camera monitoring system which replace side mirrors may require up to 60 frames per second to provide smooth video to drivers at high width speeds and to avoid situations where some important information can be lost because of low frame rate. Machine vision algorithms in this system must, be, must struggle with different problems and constraints which can, hap which can happen in some situations. One of serious problems for machine vision algorithms can be LED flickering. LED flickering can lead to the misinterpretation of the scene by machine vision algorithms. For example, missing to detect red traffic light uh, can be very dangerous. Also, many scenarios for automotive cameras tend to have very high dynamic range, uh, difference between dark and bright regions. A typical example is a vehicle approaching to the exit of the tunnel. This situation can happen under saturation and over saturation in the captured image uh, and this can lead to lose important information. Uh, in addition, it's very important that all cameras are perf perfectly synchronized in order to achieve better resolution when combining data from multiple sources. Uh, at the market currently there are a few products for this purpose. Some of them provide part of functionalities uh, mentioned in this paper and most of them have some constraints which must be bridged with some 
other some third party solution. I would like to point out one solution currently available at the market can provide solid options for development of machine vision based algorithms for automotive. This device is called Logi Recorder 3.1 and it's designed by Xylon. It is based on FPGA and supports multiple video channels, different vehicle communication buses like CAN, LIN, Flex, Ray, and Internet. But one of the biggest dis disadvantages of this solution is lack of image signal processor or ISP. So if the target platform does not have ISP inside, additional processing of raw data is required. Uh, I will present one new solution for automotive video logger device which will incorporate all necessary uh, features required for fast and reliable algorithm prototyping. Authors of this paper were involved in all phases of the project, from prototype development, hardware bring up, software development, and finally testing and deployment of the market. Basically, there are a few possible use cases for this device. Recording use case is a basic functionality of this device and it will log all data to disk in this mode. The second mode is live mode and in live mode this device will simulate camera and send all data directly to target platform in real time. The third use case is playback mode will, uh, and playback mode will be used in order to reproduce recorded data in the exactly same order in which they were recorded. A uh, basic block diagram of this device is shown on the image at the right. This device has modular and expandable architecture based on Texas Instruments TDA2 Plus SOC. The TDA2 Plus family provides an optimal mix of performance, low power and ADAS vision analytics processing. Up to four high resolution automotive cameras can, can be connected to one unit. Cameras are connected to camera interface module and currently it is supported TIFP Link 3 video interface, which can support full HD resolution at 60 frames per second. This camera interface model is removable and therefore can be replaced with some other video interface, such as, such as Gigabit Multimedia Serial Link or Gigabit Video Interface. TDA2 Plus processor has a hardware image signal processor or ISP capable of processing HDR images with different uh, features such as white balance, video noise filter, color conversion, resizers and many others. After ISP processing, all frames will be compressed and saved to removable SSD disks. It is important to emphasize that lossless video compression is applied here, so there is no any image quality loss, which is mandatory for proper algorithm testing. Currently, Window Logger device supports a uh, camera with new Sony IMX390 sensor, which was developed for self-driving cars. This sensor is capable to provide concurrent light flickering mitigation and HDR processing at full HD resolution and up to 60 frames per second. Up to four cameras at 30 frames per second or two cameras at 60 frames per second can be supported on one device. Also, it is possible to chain multiples, the multiple devices together in order to provide more than four cameras. These devices are completely synchronized with one of, uh, and one of them is master which controls other slave devices. It is important to note that all cameras are synchronized with common external pools. Also, all captured data are timestamped with central time received from GPS. GPS device is connected to master device. After the recording campaign is finished, all required data are stored to SSD disks. Next step would be to provide this data to developers in order to start developing and testing algorithms. This device offers two options to make this to take disks and put them to the same device which is located in the office or to upload all this data to some dedicated server. After that data can be downloaded from the server. For second option there is available 1 gigabit Ethernet port and also optionally there is 10 gigabit P2 
PCI network card. In order to start using this device as a hardware in the loop device, playback mode comes in focus. In this mode, there, are, there are, are available two basic options, playback to PC or playback to target embedded platform. Usually, algorithms are first developed and tested on PC. For this purpose, PCI Express is used to deliver all necessary data in real time to PC application. There is one more possible mode for this device, it's called live mode. This mode will uh, allow you to benchmark algorithms in real time in, in the real traffic or in the office. For example, uh, people in the office can serve as test subjects for pedestrian detection algorithm. Evaluation of this device is done uh, also in test vehicle. First, recording in real, in real traffic was performed. There are two typical recording scenarios, drive at highway at very high speeds and drive in city environment, which usually requires slower speeds. For highway scenario, two cameras at full HD resolution at 60 frames per second are used. First camera is mounted uh, in front of vehicle and second at right side of the vehicle. For logging vehicle data, for example, vehicle speed was used uh, can bus and the can data were uh, obtained from OBD2 connector. Uh, after on road test, real hardware in the loop simulation was performed. Video logger device was used to feed another embedded device, which was used to run some vehicle detection algorithm. Second, scenario was city drive and usually due much more traffic and a lot of pedestrians on street vehicle vehicle must not drive at high speeds. As, an, as in previous scenario using playback mode of video logger device, some other embedded device was used to perform some machine vision algorithm upon this data. And these images can be seen result of the vehicle detection algorithm and uh, results of the pedestrian detection algorithm and traffic sign detection algorithm. Using video logger device in automotive industry provides solution for managed and synchronized imaging systems in real time with multiple cameras and other sensors. It also brings specific benefits for many car manufacturers. The key benefit is to remove the need for expensive prototypes during algorithms development and testing phase. So in the future work, it is very important to work on upgrade of existing platform as well. Speed up read write performances, offer different type of disk and even more video storage and pre-processing capabilities. For example, providing different pre-processing filter options for video stream would be very useful for quick prototyping and experimenting. Some useful options would be edge detection, algorithm color to gray conversion, histone calculation, and many others. Uh, uh, two questions were arisen, and uh, the first one is uh, Can you give some insights on the actual bandwidth required to transport camera imagery in the appropriate format for a typical expected autonomous vehicle configuration? Is this solution practical in this regard? So let's take, for example, one camera at full HD resolution at 60 frames per second. Uh, uh, the total data amount produced by this camera is uh, 238 megabytes per second. So for, for uh, one expected autonomous vehicle configuration would require uh, a lot of cameras. For example, for camera mirror system, it would be necessary two cameras at 60 frames per second. For front view camera, also one camera for uh, at 60 frames per second. For surround view system, it will be necessary four cameras, but at lower frame rate, for example, 30 frames per second. 
rear view camera would require one camera at 30 frames per second with the total bandwidth it almost 1.3 terabytes per second so with the current solution this is possible but if we are using uh, uh, at least three device chains together so one device would be used for camera mirror system cameras two cameras at 60 frames per second second device will be used for surround view system cameras and third device will be would be used for uh, rear view camera and uh, front view camera uh, second question was is the solution flexible with regard to automating image processing during the logging operation for example fisheye correction uh, yes, this this is possible. The current solution can be uh, expanded so it can support additional uh, video processing during logging operation. For example, ISP can support uh, lens distortion correction and it can uh, correct distortion created by fisheye lens. Also there are available DSP and embedded vector engine cores we can provide which can provide additional processing power for some custom image processing required for, for required uh, from customers uh, thank you for watching